I'm Miss Alyssa. And I'm Miss Teresa. And welcome to our What's New Talk. So today we're going to show you some of the new children's books that have been added to our collection recently. Yep. So let's get into it. We're going to go into um, board books and picture books. So for one of the board books, we have the I Am Curious uh, collection. And these are little books about like um, famous people. So in this one, it's going to be Albert Einstein. And they have some minimal wording for younger audiences and some like really amazing pictures. And so young kids will love to hold on to these thicker books and look through them. A good introduction to um, important people in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and then our second board book is Corn and Peg, Do Gooders Unite, which Corn and Peg is actually a new Nickelodeon TV show. So if your kids like that, they'll enjoy this book where uh, they introduce all the characters from Corn and Peg. It's pretty cute. Yep, really cute. Okay, and then we have some really fun um, picture books. And we're going to start with Pug Tato, which is such an adorable book. So in this picture book, you have Pug Tato, who's a little potato, and he finds a thing. And so he has to go to all his um, animal friends. Like tomato, carrot. Unicorn on the cob. Unicorn. So it's really fun. It's a play on vegetables and words, and um, they're just really fun fun illustrations for the kids yeah. to follow along. It's a really cute book. <laughs> um, and then we have Pig the Slob. I think Pig the Pug needs no introduction uh, by Aaron Blaby. He, uh, Pigs gets in trouble again, as usual. He um, doesn't want to get off the couch and stop playing video games. Oh no. So he gets into a, <laughs> a bit of a mess. He's obviously. always getting into a mess. You've got to check out, that's also yeah. part of a series. It's super yes, fun. Yes, a very popular <laughs> series. Okay, and then we have Evelyn Del Rey is moving away. And this is a great book about two friends and they share a lot of similarities, but one of them is moving away. And so it's a touching story about how they deal with um, losing a friend. And so that's something to check out as well. And that's also written by oh. Meg Medina, who is a Newberry medalist. That's right. And our last suggestion is Feast of Peas, which I really like. It was really funny. <laughs> it's about... Um, Jiva, who works in his garden, and his precious peas start going missing. And so it's him and his friend go about uh, trying, trying to fun. catch the perpetrator. <laughs> yeah, find those peas. A lot of fun. So that's <laughs> Feast of Peas by Kashmira Seth. Awesome. So now we're going to go over our um, in-betweens and I Can Reads. So with the I Can Reads, it's going to be um, this right here, C Sheet. This is a ready-to-read book. And this is going to contain... Um, pre-level one reading. So you're going to do shared reading and simple words for the kids with some really fun illustrations. And this book is about sea sheep and so about sheep who spend the day at the beach. It's very cute. Try saying that three times fast. Oh no, I wouldn't be able to. Sea sheep, sea sheep. <laughs> uh, our second one is Cece Loves Science, which is about Cece learning about push and pull, which are science terms. Um, it is a reading level three, so it's better for emergent readers and it has um, a bit more complex plot for them to follow. So CC is in her science class and she brings along her dog, Einstein. Okay, and then another book that we have is What About Worms? And this is such a fun book. This one's by Ryan T. Higgins, but the illustrator is Mo Williams. So you will know him from the Elephant and Piggy story. And so it's all in the same universe, but this one's about um, Tiger. And Tiger hates worms. And so it just goes through all the things about how worms ruin all the things that he loves. It's very cute. <laughs> And our last pick for our I Can Reads is um, a Moby and Toby, or Moby Shinobi and Toby too. Uh, surf's up, so Moby and Toby want some sun, so they go to, and have a beach day. And it is in actually like a graphic novel I Can Read illustrated. So it'll be really um, appealing to new readers. Okay, and then for in-betweens, we have the Minecraft Wood Sword Chronicles. This is the Dungeon Crawl. Um, book and so this one's going to be for a little more advanced readers and um, it's really fun for all the kids who like Minecraft because it goes through the kids playing the game and then it goes through what they're dealing with in real life and so in this one they're doing a, um, a play so you'll see their characters as them as real kids and then characters in the video game so I like that a lot. And I guess plays are really popular this month because uh, Mia Mayhem 
Steals the Show is also about Mia Mayhem, who's an awesome superhero in her class production uh, of a, a stage play. It's uh, her school play and it's all about superheroes. Yep, plays are popular. Yep. <laughs> and our last pick is another installation of the Bad Guys series. This is the Bad Guys in Dawn of the Underlord, which I think is about Mr. Snake. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay, and that's all we have for in-betweens. Okay. We have some new stuff for biographies and for nonfiction, which is really good um, category. So for the biographies, you guys are you probably, asked for <laughs> probably familiar with this series. It's the Who Is series, and we've got a ton of new ones in. These are just a couple of the newest ones, so things like Jackie Chan or Temple um, Grandin. So you want to check out those. And then we've got um, a new book about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and this is about her life. And so it's a picture book, so that's going to be a little bit easier for kids to read and understand, but also really great illustrations in this as well. Yeah, a lot of good information about her life. Mm -hmm. So research projects would also be... People who, yeah, people who want to do a project on her or just want to know a little bit more about her life. And then our last biography is Althea Gibson. The Story of Tennis's Flea of Foot Girl. So Althea Gibson was actually the first African-American to ever win a medal at uh, Wimbledon, oh, wow. man or woman. Uh, it's about her story, about how segregation affected her. Um, it's a really good read, and the pictures are really pretty, really beautiful. Oh, really nice They're and awesome. bright. I love that. Okay, and then for our nonfiction, um, this is a really fun one. It's the making of Fortnite. So we know Fortnite is a very popular game with just a lot a of kids. Bit. Just, yeah, a, just bit. a little popular. So in this book, readers are going to um, find out about how it was created, and then they'll even find out how it's still um, being tweaked and improved um, today so that people can still play it and enjoy it, and it's still new and exciting. And then we have two more... Um... I guess gaming related uh, nonfiction books. This is the Lego games book, which oh has gosh. brain teasers, <laughs> games, challenges and puzzles, all having to do with your favorite building, building materials, Legos. We know a lot of kids really like the Legos. I so. like Legos too. <laughs> and then we have Ultimate Slime, which is a really cool book on how to make some uh, Borax free slime. They have cloud slime, kawaii slime, hybrid slimes, every kind of slime. I know. This is good oh, for yeah. um, mom and dad and for kids. I don't know. I'll have to check that out because I like slang too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And our last two categories are going to be for graphic novels and children's fiction. So for graphic novels, we have Fright at the Museum, which is a Descendants graphic novel. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have read any of the Descendants books or watched any of the Disney movies, then you're going to really enjoy this graphic novel. It has Mel, Evie, Jay, and Carlos, and all of their friends. And they're going to be hanging out and, and dealing with a fright at the museum. So really cool. Cool. Um, we also have DC Supergirl... Superhero Girls in Powerless, which is about the power going out in Gotham, and Batgirl, Wonder Woman, Bumblebee all have to band together to um, fix the problem. Oh, that's going to be really good. And of course, graphic novel is always pretty. Okay, and if you still like that superhero, um, you're going to want to check out Black Panther. This is Rise Together, and this is going to be adventures for T'Challa and his sister Shuri and all the fantastic citizens of Wakanda. And again, you're looking at that really great art throughout the whole book. And our last pick is an I Survived graphic novel. I Survived is a really popular, I'm sure you know. Mm -hmm. This is about um, the sinking of the Titanic in 1912, and it follows um, George Calder, who's possibly the luckiest kid to be on the Titanic, but as we know, disaster strikes. That's gonna be a good one too. So when we're looking at children's fiction, we have really two really good ones. Um, this one is Clean Getaway by Nick Stone. And we have our main character, Scoob, and he goes on an unplanned road trip with his grandmother. So you can just imagine all right, the crazy yeah. things that are gonna happen with that. So um, be sure to check it out. This one sounds like a really fun one. Um, and our last choice is A Home for Goddesses and Dogs. And I'm going to read right off the cover because I think it sums it up really well. Uh, a Home for Goddesses and Dogs sings about loss and love and finding joy in new friendships and a loving family. 
and the world's best bad dog. Oh, that sounds good. It's really sweet. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, so these are just a couple of the newest items that we have in our collection. Yep. Be sure to check them out um, through our catalog and come we'll back. See, yeah, we'll see you next month with, for even more new cool items we have to share with mm -hmm. you.